Hey guys, Graham from Boosted Performance here. Today, we're gonna do something really exciting. We're gonna show you guys exactly how to use a cool new technology from Ecutech where you can tune this car start to finish using nothing but your smartphone and the Ecutech phone flash kit. All right guys, so we're in the car. We have Ecutech Connect installed on our smartphone. This works on Android or iPhone, so get the app installed first. Then we have our phone flash kit. Inside here, you're gonna find the Bluetooth dongle and a USB cable. Typically, you won't need the USB cable since we're gonna do it all from our phone, but it's there in case you need to update it or do any certain things. So, we plug this in to the OBD2 port. See the light flash green when it's connected? And now we're ready to do the phone part of this. We'll open up the Ecutech Connect app, go down to the gear in the bottom right-hand corner, and we're going to need to create an Ecutech account. Enter your name, an email address, choose a password, confirm your password, and then agree to the terms and conditions and check all the boxes going down here. Once that's done, you should immediately be signed right in. Just make sure you enter the right email address because that's where all the communication is going to go back and forth from us. Okay, once you're logged in here, you should see your email address up at the top. And the next step here is to select your tuner, which is going to be Boosted Performance Tuning if you're working with us. So we click into here, click Choose Tuner, start typing in Boosted, and then you'll see us right here, Boosted Performance Tuning. Or if you're working with a different tuner, you would search your tuner by name and select them from here. That's gonna allow us to send files to you and get your logs from you. So we go back to the settings. And the first thing we need to do is you need to send us your information about your vehicle so that we can send you tunes that are appropriate for your ECU. Under vehicle interface, there's two options, EVI-BT or EVI-BTLE. Make sure you take a look at your dongle. In this case, it's BTI-LE. And we should be all set now. So if we back out, we can go to info, and we should see all the information pop up here. So now we're all set. Now the application on your phone is synchronized to communicate with the dongle in the car. Okay, so with the ignition on, engine not running, now we can click on my car. We'll wait while it connects here. Okay, now we're into the main screen here. The first thing we need you to do is send us your vehicle information so we know which types of ROM files we can send you. To do that, we'll click Program ECU and Send Vehicle Info to Tuner. It's already gonna have your VIN number, you can choose your make here. So we have a Toyota model is FRS. Doesn't have to be perfect in there. And it should show your calibration ID under engine. Once that all looks good, click to send that to your tuner. Get a success message. That means you did everything correctly. So now you'll go back and at this point, you'll wait for us to get your information and send your first tune file to you. Okay, so make sure you send us your vehicle information and also fill out the form and send your modification information before you need the tune because it, it can take a couple days for us to get your information and to build you your tune. Don't start putting parts on your car, you know, without your tune file first. So once we've sent you the tune file, you should get an email notification that we've done so. Now you're ready to go over to your Ecutech Connect app. Again, turn your ignition on, engine not running, Go to my car, go back to program ECU, choose engine. Now you're gonna see the rev one file that we sent to ourselves here, or in this case, we would have sent to you. Click on that file, make sure everything looks good. Follow all the instructions there on the screen and hit program. It is recommended the first time you do this that you do a test so we'll go ahead and you know do a communications test here by clicking start test. That's just gonna make sure that everything seems to be working correctly with the vehicle so we don't have the risk of a failed flash and potentially your ECU having an issue where the car won't start and your dealer has to deal with that. So the test was successful. Now we can hit continue. And that was just a one-time thing the first time we go to do this. We can go ahead and hit program. We also wanna make sure we don't touch anything, turn anything off. 
so as to possibly disturb the flash. Just let it do its thing. Okay, so we'll follow the instructions in the app here. It tells us to turn the ignition off. Now it tells us to turn it back on. It's gonna go through a process here of basically resetting the ECU. And then it should say programming completed successfully. You can key it back off. You can close out of here. I recommend giving it about 15 seconds or so after you've keyed it back off, just to again, let everything kind of settle and reset. Then you can go ahead and key it back on. And you're ready to start the engine. So I'm gonna show you a few things in the dashboard here of the EcuTech software, and then I'll show you guys how to log the car. So we'll go ahead and start it up. Now we go to my car. And from this screen here, we have a number of different things we can do. We can use the DTC tool. If your check engine light comes on for something, you can use the DTC tool to read for any codes and send those to us. You can also use the dashboard and mount your phone and use it as gauges. So in this case, you know, we've got RPM, we've got the AFR. You can see those moving around. I've set up a, a boost gauge in this case that will start to read positive pressure if we go into boost. So again, this is sort of like a, you know, a dashboard system that you can use. If we close that, we go over to data logging. From the data logging screen, um, if we ask you to load a preset, you hit the little folder icon and you'll see the presets we've sent you. So in this case, I'll go ahead and choose the boosted preset here. And now we can see some information moving around and we're ready to start a log. Typically, we're gonna to ask to see idle, we're gonna to wanna to see some driving, and then we're gonna to wanna to see a full throttle run. You can do this all as one log, or you can break it up into separate logs for us. You can name them and tell us what they are. In this case, I'm just gonna do it all as one log so that you know I can send it that way. I'm gonna go ahead and click the start button here. And now you can see it's logging. So we'll let it idle for a little bit. If we need a warm up log, you would log it while it's warming up. Once you get to a point where you're done capturing some idle, you'll go ahead and start driving the car. So typically, I like to see some cruising, some steady cruising at 40 miles an hour. Um, a little bit of light acceleration, like you were gonna speed up to 60 here. Not full throttle, just nice, smooth acceleration. Up to about 60 miles an hour highway speed, shifter into fifth, cruise a little in fifth, down into sixth, and then just some nice steady cruise here like you're going down the highway at 65 miles an hour. Just how you would drive the car is what I want to see. Now, typically we're gonna either ask you for a third gear or a fourth gear pull. A lot of times I ask for third gear pulls to start with and also just so you're not going too fast. You know, you wanna be only going up to a speed that's legal, you know, in a nice open controlled road with no traffic. Again, be careful when you're taking logs for us. Obey all the traffic rules. Don't break the law to take a log for us. So third gear in a lot of situations is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna use fourth gear here on the dyno. If you're, if you're renting a dyno to do your logs or doing a remote tune with us, we typically ask for fourth gear. I'm in fourth gear, I'm gonna be just above 2000 RPM and then foot all the way to the floor and I'm gonna carry it all the way to about the rev limiter or just before. Don't need to hang out and hit the rev limiter. Once you're done, you can just make an easy shift into the next gear and move on. So, here we go. We go back to the main menu and we click on my files you'll see under data logs there's a new file there it has a date and a time we click on that you can add a comment to it in this case i'll say idle cruise and full throttle this is where you can leave us some little notes to let us know oh i felt a hiccup in this spot or this is full throttle this is idle if you like to do separate logs that's fine we hit done the comments there can see some details now at the bottom 
we click the button to send to Boosted Performance Tuning. Another description, I'm gonna say first log file. I hit done, and now it's sending your log file up into the cloud. As Soon as you do that, we're gonna get an email that you've sent us a new log. We can open it, we can review it, we will adjust the tune file, and we'll send you a new file that you can program into the ECU and data log again. Okay, so we did that first data log, idle cruise and full throttle, and we uploaded that to the cloud. I've already reviewed it on my computer and made some changes and uploaded a Rev2 file back to Phone Flash. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like to do a tune update. It's obviously very similar to doing the initial flash. So we'll open up Ecutech Connect. We'll get to the main screen. Ignition in the on position, but engine not running. Go back to my car. We'll go to Program ECU, Engine. And now we'll see there's a Rev2 file there now. We can click on it. If there's more information, it'll show up but we're ready to go ahead and program this in. So we'll click the program button. And just like with the initial flash or any other flashing that you're doing, again, don't touch anything, don't open doors, close doors, turn off the key, don't do anything, just sit still and let it do the flashing. Now we have the Rev2 update flashed on the ECM. I wanna show you guys a couple other quick things that you can do with the phone flash software. So we'll reconnect using the My Car link. And I know earlier I touched on the dashboard, the data logging and the DTC reading, which is all very cool stuff. If you're in an emission state and you have to take your car for emissions readiness testing, this link right here, the OBD readiness is very handy. That'll be able to show you what systems are already ready to go and which ones aren't. If you've got mechanical issues, you kind of know what to go after to solve it, or if sometimes just need to drive the car more to get these systems to go ready. But before you go there and take your test, you can basically have an idea of how you're, how you're doing already using that. There's also a performance analyzer, and then we can make some adjustments from here. We can actually turn traction control off if you wanted to, or since this car has launch control enabled, you can adjust the launch control RPM limit right from in the app. Uh, next time in a future video, we want to show you guys flex fuel, map switching, and some of the other race ROM features, but all those can tie back into the Phone Flash app, which is very cool. Now you guys have seen the process of flashing the car, as well as logging the car. That is the two main steps to e-tuning. We basically just go back and forth like that until the car is all tuned in. I hope you guys enjoyed the Phone Flash video. I hope it was helpful seeing the process start to finish to kind of understand what you're getting yourself into here if you're thinking about doing this. It really is just as simple as a Phone Flash kit from Ecutech a smartphone, Android, or iPhone, and we can completely tune these cars start to finish without a laptop or anything else needed. If you guys have any questions about Phone Flash, leave them in the comments or feel free to reach out to us directly. We're happy to help you guys with that. Uh, it's honestly a very simple process once you get comfortable with it and makes it very easy to tune your car.